We are here at 115 Highland, where I wanted to do our first video market update for you. 115 Highland will be coming to the market in about a week, so keep your eye out for, obviously, an amazing video to come. But before we start talking about Highland and before we start talking about construction, let's talk about what we're seeing in the spring market a little bit. So rains delayed a lot of our spring market this year so things are a little behind so we're starting to see our spring inventory hitting for june and july it's okay it's a good thing we're finally starting to have some inventory the other thing is consumer confidence is relatively high not only because of the ipos which to be honest let's keep an eye on it because i don't really know how it's going to play out but the other good thing we know is that financing rates are low it is almost free to borrow money to buy a house right now. So if you're renting and you're debating, should I be paying someone else's equity? Should I be building my own equity? This is a great time to get into the market in terms of financing rates. Okay, so why are we here at Highland? Not only because I wanna give you a sneak peek, but also because we need to talk about construction costs, which are surely going to affect the cost of real estate all over the Bay Area. Let's go inside and we'll break it down. So when you're thinking about buying a house, right? You have to think about, do I wanna buy the thing that's completely done, that doesn't have a whole lot of ways that I can add value, or do I buy something that maybe I can put my own spin on, renovate a kitchen, a bathroom, something like that? Well, here's where we have to talk about construction costs and what's happened in our market in the last 18 months, year. Okay, so what's happened? Couple of things, one, trade wars with China, which has made the cost of iron and steel go up 14%. Iron and steel, where do we use iron and steel? Well, we use it in structural beams to open up walls when we're constructing anything for seismic retrofitting. Railings, steel, up 14%. Anchor bolts into your foundation, 14%. It all starts to add up. So if you're thinking about buying and you're thinking, here's the price tag of something done versus I can do it myself, we have to pay attention to how much more that construction is gonna cost you. Now let's go somewhere else at 115 Highland and talk about the other things that have increased in price. So two other major construction costs that we've seen go way up are hardwood, softwood, wood, and marble. Okay. So where do we use wood? You're like, duh, Tyler, I know where we use wood. We use it on the hardwood floors. Yes, but we also use it for decking. We use it to frame a house. Everything that's behind all the drywall in a house, that's wood framing. So imagine how much of a house is wood. What if the outside of your house was wood siding as well? That would be another huge expense. Now, hardwood and softwood have gone up 15 to 23%. That's an enormous increase. So one of the things that we did at 115 Highland was we used something called hardy plank, which is a cementaceous board. Number one, great for fireproofing. Number two, doesn't get beat down by the sun like regular wood does. Doesn't have to be painted every five to 10 years like wood does. And you can help control the costs as wood prices continue to go up. Even though right now, they're still relatively the same price, they're gonna go up. Marble, China, thank you trade wars, right? The cost of marble, where do we use marble? Our kitchens, our bathrooms, tile floors, it's everywhere. We got one more thing to talk about and we're gonna do that downstairs. So the last thing that's made our construction costs go up is labor. So we talked about materials. We talked about iron, steel, wood, marble, but we didn't talk about labor. So here in the Bay Area, we were trying to get our less outrageous contractors to come down from up north. A lot of them were coming down from Petaluma, Santa Rosa, um, to do labor in the Bay Area, and they were less expensive than the guys that are out of San Francisco or Southern Marin. Well, with the fires up in Napa, which obviously affected the cost of wood as well, all of the laborers that were living up in Santa Rosa have so much work close to home now that they don't want to come down here. So we've also lost a lot of our affordable labor force. All right, we're headed to the deck. I'm going to tell you one more thing. 
So hopefully you guys all know I am always here for you for any construction questions, any renovation things you might want to do to your house, if you're interested in selling, if you're wondering should I buy an investment property, I'm always here to be your real estate maven.